Okay, I'm with Bill Lumsden, um, master distiller for Glenmorangie at the launch of Glenmorangie for Nalta. Um, tell me about the whiskey. Yeah. Okay, this is a slight departure in the traditional line of products we brought out. It's my interpretation of the way Glenmorangie might have tasted a hundred or so years ago. I knew from our research, from speaking to the likes of Charlie McLean, all whiskies in these days would be a bit more heavily beated. Lots of sherry casks. Bourbon casks didn't appear in Scotland until the 1940s. So this is my idea of how Glenmorangie might have tasted a hundred years or so ago. So 60% of this recipe is sherry cask, 40% is what we call plain casks, oak casks, refill casks, but the pièce de résistance, the heart of this recipe, is some secret Glenmorangie I made back in the mid-1990s. I called it Off the Main. It's medium peated Glenmorangie, and it's the first time we've ever used this. Now, of why, course, how did you um, decide? To, why did you decide to use peat for the first time? Just because, you know, again, you know, it's very traditional in the Scotch whisky industry to use peat. I didn't want to create an art bag at Glenmorangie. That would have been a bit disingenuous. I just wanted to give a bit of smoke to it. I've been fortunate enough to taste one or two very, very old bottlings of Glenmorangie, 10 year old, and I thought there was this hint of smoke going through it. So that's what I've tried to do here. But I've also tried very hard to stay true to the house style. So there's a bit of elegance, a bit of finesse in there. So Glenmorangie Finalta, the way it might have tasted a hundred or so years ago. Okay, fantastic. Now, what 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 was the base? Tell me again the basis for that uh, hundred years old recipe. Okay, the basis was using historical references and some very very old ledgers we have at the distillery, where they actually show the recipes with so many sherry casks, so many plain casks. So there's quite a bit of you know authenticity to the way we've done this. The other thing I would say is you know the first one in the range was Sonalta. Yeah. Big, rich, spicy, classic sherry matured whiskey. It had to be something different. So, this is number two in the private edition range. And number three, watch this space. Can you give us any clues? I can, but I'm not going to. Nice. Thank you All very I much. would say is it's more classically Glenmorangie. And you know we invented the wood finishes. You know we've used all these different wine barrels. So kind of along these lines. Okay, fantastic. Well, thank you very much indeed, Dr. Bill. Oh shit, our marketing director's here to tell me not to say these things. Hello, marketing director. <laughs> Monsieur Hollandsey. Big smiles.